17 hours and 3 minutes into the day of June 12th, I think it's June 12th, yeah, June 12th, and, uh, pretty, pretty interesting day, uh, so far, uh, we last left you, it was, uh, I think it was 6 o'clock in the morning, you know, around 6 o'clock in the morning we cut a cut out, uh, so 6 hours into the day we cut out, and now we're back again, at uh, 17 hours, so not a bad sleep, uh, you know, catching up a little bit, that's what happens, you do need to catch up on your sleep, and now I'm back at it again, and, uh, the goal for today is to try to ramp up the, uh, the old schedule, and get the filming uh, into such an order that I can actually start producing uh, more videos on a regular, on a daily basis. This is the goal. The goal here right now is to see how much I can produce on a daily basis, on a regular basis. You know, to keep producing. Uh, the ex next challenge is to start prepping for a two-week expedition that I'm going on and film up there. And when I come back, put together a documentary uh, on uh, what was done. So. We'll see what we can do there and uh, what footage I can pull out of it. So, X Plus, yesterday's X Plus, or the previous uh, period, uh, should be up to you shortly. It's just finished rendering in the bay. I'm going to be uploading it in just two minutes as soon as I finish here. And then uh, we're going to go from there. Alrighty, take it easy. Well, uh, being a bit lazy uh, <laughs> today, uh, it's uh, 22 hours and 26 minutes into the day of June 12, 2012. Uh, if you wonder why I'm doing the 22 hours uh, and 12 minutes, that uh, and 26 minutes, this kind of gives you an idea on a 24-hour scale that, uh, where I am in the day, and, <laughs> and for those of you who want AM, PM, it's just around 10.30 PM, so I'm putting the geek stuff in there, 22 hours and 26 or 27 minutes, uh, and then, uh, that's your proper way of doing the 24-hour time. The military time of 2,300 hours, well, in order to have 2,300 hours, you'd have to have 2,300 hours in the day at least. Or, and for as far as I know from science, there's only 24 hours in the day. So how you get 1,300 or all these 100 hours uh, in military time is beyond me because uh, if someone told me to be, uh, be there sharp at, seven, uh, at 700 hours in the morning, well, they'd have to wait for 700 hours to pass before I actually showed up. So, <laughs> that's just the geek in me. Yeah, um, I'm just pushing out the, uh, today's, vi uh, yeah, today's, but yeah, today's episode of, uh, Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, so I'm just pushing that out now, uh, to the social, uh, networking sites. Just sort of, right now I'm on Nerd Fighter. The Nerd Fighter. Who is and who isn't the Nerd Fighter? I don't know what a Nerd Fighter is, really. I just, yeah, 
to the word nerd in it, and and a lot of people call themselves nerds. So, what? Uh, birds of a feather who flock together, and all that stuff. So it's it's, it's not uh, anything particular. It's just a place sort of. Uh, I guess where a lot of nerds hang out, hang out, so, yay. But the thing is, is the question is, uh, what are the nerds on here? And I'll go, I'll, go I'll, I'll take a look and you'll, you'll see that most of the nerds, in terms of the evolutionary forms of nerds, there's a whole, there's a whole classification for nerds, depending on, uh, Depending on how you quantify yourself as a nerd, depends on, on, on the subject that you're into. Uh, the subjects that you're into and that you're studying, or or if you're studying at all, uh, really determines where you are in the nerddom. And so it's something that, that that could and should be a pay, should be paid attention to, but uh, in, in in some cases it's not always adhered to. Well, uh, <laughs> not that you actually have to adhere to this, but just that uh, it's something I think uh, should be noted that not all nerds are exactly the same. It, a lot of it has to, there is a basic. Uh, personality, and then beyond the basic personality, uh, what you have is um, the quirks and traits that would appear by subject, uh, and this is where we're going to go now, going to my groups and stuff like that. And the groups will give you an idea of where the nerd fighters are. Um, number of nerds on YouTube, so the YouTube nerds, there's about 1,500. Then there's about 164 who can, uh, in Canada. Because of the nerd fighters, I'm the only Greek nerd fighter so far on here. Uh, for Arabic-speaking nerd fighters, there's only 16. And then for the science nerd fighters, uh, there's only 468. So, uh, oh, and the other one is uh, Lydic <sighs> is uh, 51. So. The two main, geek, the two geekiest areas, what we call the S3 nerds, would be in your science and in Linux. And basically, uh, <laughs> the, there's almost, like I said, other groups are in the thousands for nerd fighters. Um, the science and uh, Linux, there's uh, 500 for science and. 50 for Linux. So that's going to give you an idea of how things work out. Get an example here, right? Let's say you're a literary or a TV nerd fighter like Doctor Who. They have Doctor Who nerd fighters here. Doctor Who nerd fighters are 6,259. So that, 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 that sort, of, sort of lays out where the nerds are on here. And uh, it kind of gives you a highlight that uh, the literary nerds, who are the readers, form the largest group. And then as you start getting into the sciences, the deeper you get into the sciences, the, 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 the nerdier the, the person becomes and the more isolated from society. Uh, with, the, with the basically physics and, and, and computer science, that's Linux, at the top. And if you have both uh, astrophysics and Linux, then you know you're, that's that's where you qualify as the nth degree nerd. Uh, that's where I am. I'm uh, both uh, Linux 
and astrophysics, so <laughs> I I rank I rank right up there. Uh, so that's, that's that's the way things go. Uh, if this is what you want in life, then that's you got to be sort of uh, happy with what you get, particularly if this is what you want, because uh, not everything comes the way you expect it to be that you expect it to come. And if you're always angry at not having the things you want, then it doesn't matter what you have, you're never going to be happy. So, I'm happy with me. I'm happy with what I've got. I've got a lot of friends on the internet. I've got a lot of friends on YouTube. So, that's the cool part of this. Anyways, uh, I'm going to get back to the work. Back to... Uh, the different things I'm doing today, I'll let you know as I'm doing more today. Uh, yesterday was kind of a slow day, you'll see as the video, it was like only four minutes. But that, 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 cause there just wasn't much to say, and I felt, as I was doing the debug work yesterday, I really didn't have a chance to turn on the camera and vlog. So, maybe I'll do a bit more today, that's the goal, is to add more content. Anyway, see you in a little bit. Well, uh, I'm going to be ending my day today. <laughs> it's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 3 hours and 8 minutes into the day of June 13th, 2012. And I keep say I have to go keep checking the date because I can never remember when the day is, what, what day it is today. Uh, that's partly due because uh, I'm ending my day now at around 3 a.m., uh, well, well, maybe a half hour from now, I'm just going to do a little bit of cleaning up, and then uh, I'm going to go to bed because uh, I have the up and out a little earlier t uh, later on today uh, because I'm going over a customer's house to do um, the next step in the work to, to uh, build uh, an IP TV entertainment system for them that goes throughout the entire house. So uh, I'm going to be doing that work tomorrow. Uh, do a lot of measuring, so I'm going to be out for a large chunk of the day. You'll see part of it because I'm going to vlog while I'm while I'm actually out, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just f fixing up stuff from here. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. What I tomorrow? What I maybe what I did later on, but uh, this is sort of going to be the end for the for the day, and you'll see this video. Uh, sometime tomorrow. Alrighty, take it easy. Due to the fact that um, I'm having a hard time sleeping, uh, at 17, at 7 hours and 15 minutes into the day of June 13th, yeah, that's right, Monday, June 13th, 2012, um, I got up just was looking at my uh, computer system. Uh, apparently, if you look at the blinking lights here, uh, thanks to my Rogers ISP not being asleep, asleep with the switch, apparently my network, if you see the way that all those lights are blinking here, uh, currently experiencing what seems to be a DOS attack. I'm trying. Someone's trying to clearly hack, hack the systems, hack the network, but it, so far, thank God, everything is stable. Linux is holding up. Thank you, Ubuntu. Thank you, Kubuntu. So, uh, no issues here. Um, I wanted to check my Facebook email because I get the e email sent to here, and someone posted on uh, my, my, my what's called my Mars uh, my Mars uh, Facebook page, and Mars stands for uh, Mars Analog Research Station. And he's been looking at all the activity that's going on, and he came to the conclusion. Uh, it's such this play this page has clearly been hacked, and the problem is is that he's actually mistaken. The page hasn't been hacked. What I did was I linked my um, Twitter account, I linked, linked my YouTube account, everything to the page, and what he's seeing is the preparation for the Mars uh, 2012 uh, research expedition. And what people don't realize is the Mars 2012 research expedition is not a, uh, we're not looking at a, a, uh, a mission that is 
simply to go there, return, and then come back again. The Mars analog we're following, that I'm following, is one based on the Polynesian model, where uh, the Polynesians floated, floated uh, whole villages from island to island. So it's a village model of space exploration. Uh, in other words, it looks at Mars from the point of view of colonization rather than simply going and then coming back again. Uh, but, and so this requires a number of things. You have to actually go back to the old pioneering days where you have to make your own clothes, you all these different things, but you now have to apply it to Mars and you have to create a village environment to do all this. And that's what's been done. Over the last seven years, uh, every two weeks in the summer, uh, be, uh, we're just around the uh, 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 end of July, beginning of August, uh, I have a village expedition up to a remote area where we build a little village and we live in this village. Um, most of the people there are younger kids, but uh, they, get into, they get into the older kids as well. And it was decided rather than having doing simple crafts that had nothing to do uh, viewing the stuff that's being done on the internet by the by a lot of the kids, uh, they're actually making jewelry, they're making clothes, they're making a lot of stuff that would make a space station home. Because without having the amenities of a house or a home, and these are decorations and all that stuff, uh, people start going crazy. And this is what we've seen in, in, in almost every mission where you have people in isolation. If the place looks sterile, and basically dead, it has an effect on the person's psychology. And this has been shown clearly through all these various different missions uh, 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 to the space station. And it, it, we've seen this with the astronauts who have gone crazy, who, 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 you know, when we had that astronaut uh, driving across the country in a diaper to kill another astronaut because of something that happened on the space station. I mean, uh, th th we've seen this in Amazon's Biosphere 2, when they had issues and then they had to have to shut down their program, not because of any any particular uh, 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 any particular One of the messages I got was a spam thing here. Uh, not because of anything that was, you know, particular to uh, the real, the technical side of, of, of uh, bias here, but more because of the personal um, behaviors of the crew within within the biosphere. That was the primary point of failure. And the thing is now, they're, when they're planning, they're doing the, the planning for a lot of these 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 uh, expeditions to Mars. Uh, most of the uh, Mars programs, like I have the Mars Analog Research Stations, that are out there are based on the return program. That, that these programs are going to be very short. They'll maybe be three years in length and then come back. So they're not focused on colonization. But the problem is, I don't think the, the, the manned uh, mission to Mars is going to be successful if it's only planned as a, as a return mission. In other words, they're not going to stay because at a minimum, you're commit people are committing three years of their lives to this. And you cannot put people into a confined area for three years and not expect to have adverse adverse effects on their on their psychology, and so this uh, as we move into our 48 hour uh, uh, 48 hour day is the issue that's being addressed with the Mars 2012 village expeditions. We're looking at a lot of the personal side of the of, of the uh, of the exploration, in addition to doing a lot of the science, but, the, but what's going on now, the preparation that's go, that, that people are seeing, that, that they think are, is spam, 
It's not spam. It's not a, a hack. It's not. It's nothing of that sort. Uh, what it is uh, is very simply um, preparation for the village expedition. So uh, that's that. Um, and I don't know. I've got uh, four hours to go before I go out and uh, work on. Um, the new project that I have uh, to bring in IPTV to a customer, so I'm gonna have something to eat. <coughs> uh, it's five oh no, it's not five o'clock. It's, it's quarter to six in the morning. Um, five out, five hours and forty-five minutes into the day of June fourteenth, two thousand twelve. Uh. It's been one of those weird days uh, where exhaustion is kind of hitting me, but it hits in a really bizarre way that it hits the way I think. Not I can't think, but just the way I think. And the way I sort of perceive things, my perception is... Um, I would say it's been altered. I have an altered perception of uh, of reality now. So that's where this is kind of coming from. So we'll see what I end up getting done in terms of the video production for the day. Because altered perception off, off, often uh, leaves you in a bizarre place where you, know, you get the work done you expect to get done. But anyways, uh, I'll have to come back maybe in a couple hours when my head is cleared a little bit. Uh, take a look at what I have, re-edit things, and then go from there. Alright, so that's it for uh, this this last 48 hour day. Maybe 48 hour this day. Uh, I'll be back in... Ooh. Maybe uh, maybe seven hours. We'll see. Six, seven hours. I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right. It's 17 hours and 32 minutes into the day of June 14th. Uh, you didn't see a bizarre goings on. Uh, this is something uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen from me. It's what happens after a crash and, and, and this after a num number of uh, sort of sleepless uh, the crash occurs after a period of a number of sleepless nights uh, where you see a lot of 48, eight, 48 hour days plus days in a row uh, right at the end of it there is it, there's a um, there's a cr there's a crash. It, it, it's a, it's an event that kind of knocks you out physically. But what ends up happening uh, is for me, anyways, the thoughts that you have. The thought that you have uh, and this is where it comes to complex we kinda need to think about what you say what you're saying. The thought that you have uh, present themselves initially as bizarre. And then they lead into very bizarre dreams as you start sleeping heavier. But then at the end, when you wake up, like to now, they're a flood of ideas. So while you were out sleeping, 
and your body was crashing. The mind was, in many ways, like a video game, restarting, restarting, and resetting itself, and you're coming back not behind, but further ahead with a whole bunch of new ideas. And that's kind of where I'm sitting now, is, is that uh, I just spent uh, a fair chunk of time sleeping. I think it was about ten hours of sleep anyways. I physically couldn't get up. My eyes wouldn't open. And yet, I'm here at the computer, and I've got a flood of ideas. But I've also got a sense here, and this is where um, uh, my life is a, a bizarre contradiction. And it kind of fits with some of the things that, uh, sort of my geeky side, where uh, every geek has a play, uh, side that he plays with, that like, uh, whether it's Batman, Spider-Man, uh, The Flash, or anime, or different things like that, that he goes out and role plays at. Well, if you've been watching my stuff, my stuff you see is, is, is from, compared to most geeks, is a little different. Because I tend towards more of the dolls, the girl side, where there's a lot of uh, what I would call creative play, which ironically further pushes my mind into new areas of possibility. So even when I'm playing, my mind isn't necessarily off. Uh, a lot of what I do when I play actually feeds into, or it's going to feed into, uh, new areas that I'm developing and working on late, later on. Uh, but it is different from the standard geek yet. Is that the standard geek, who is more often than not by definition a boy, uh, there are girl geeks out there, but uh, girl geeks are, I think, infinitely more sociable and socially interactive than the guys are. And uh, this is reflected when you go into the anime community and you see that the anime is primarily geared towards boys. Uh, and any girl will tell you tell you this that, that the anime is geared toward more towards boys than they are towards girls. Uh, so the girls who have an idea that they want to be they're on the geek side who end up in anime will will have to sort of settle unless they get up and create their own anime. And this is sort of the option that I'm working on now. Uh, We'll have to settle for the guy's anime. So, but uh, what I was, just, I think, what I was saying when I was looking at, is that you have an enormous amount of options when you're uh, no, 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 actually, the more amount of thoughts come back when you come back from a crash. And this is not something that's necessarily usual. But uh, it also, when you have the thoughts, you also, it accompanies an emotion. And this is what I was talking about, about where I ended up in an unusual position. Where my thoughts and feelings always stay within the same thoughts and feelings I had between the age, between the grades of grade three and junior high. So basically, I stay between the ages of seven, eight, up to fourteen. So as soon as I get to fourteen, I have some idea of what I'm doing. It immediately flips over, and I'm back in a situation where. Uh, I feel like I'm in grade three, like I'm eight years old again, in the great beginning of grade three, and you have both excitement and fear at the same time. Uh, so these two anxieties uh, sort of play off each other, and it's it's uh, in many ways I guess I would say it's a disconnected reality feeling. 
So, anyways, I'm going to get going on here, and I will be back. This is going to be another 48-hour day. Uh, because of the way things ended up, uh, you'll see why it ends up the way it ends up. So, uh, anyways, I will see you later on during the day. I've got more work to do here. And, uh... Well, it's that time again. Food shopping time. So, uh, I'm off to go food shopping. And a bit of a surprise, or interesting surprise, is that, uh, you'll see as I get to the top of the top of the driveway here that uh, they're doing construction on the street. Not only they're repaving, but to my surprise, they're putting in a sidewalk. So that's pretty cool. Uh, instead of walking on the street and having to negotiate your way through uh, a lot of uh, heavy traffic, uh, as it is an industrial area, and uh, just the sidewalk down that way. And that's the sidewalk to come down this way. So, imagine being on the street and you have to deal with a lot of trucks and uh, deliveries and so on and so forth because it's industrial. And you have to walk down this. So this is certainly going to make it a lot easier. Just the way the sidewalks uh, on the other street that I didn't have sidewalks on before made it easier. So... Anyways, I will sh talk to you a little bit later because as I get as I get the get the walking done, I have to go to two stores, and so you'll see the two stores I'm at. This is what I'm talking about. This sidewalk here is brand new. It, it, I'm just using it this year. They had one on the other side, but they didn't have one on this side. So this was new uh, as of this year, and that's what I started using and waiting for the lights to change uh so this is new and they're just putting the sidewalks in just the way i had uh that you have here they're now putting the sidewalks in on my street so i think that's pretty cool you know that gives me an easier chance to walk uh, rather than having to walk on the street although you get used to it i mean you do certainly do get used to walking on the street and it's not as if the walk is bad man it's actually a pretty cool walk i uh, got lots of nice woods around here. Uh, this is actually IBM. This here? This is IBM's driveway, actually. If you can believe this or not, this is IBM's driveway. It's nice and wooded. Uh, there's always lots of birds and animals around. Uh, I've seen several rabbits here. So this is the IBM drive. This is where I usually take my shortcut through here. Nice and quiet. So anyways, uh, as I was saying, this was a nice little walk, nice way to get out of the office, so. Normally I'd be going down that way, just continue going straight, but uh, at the sign there, you'll see I'll be turning and going into that mall. They've got a nice little Asian mall in there, and uh, I'm going to a store there that... Uh, I had his computer parts, I need to get a mouse. So, I'll see what I can get there, if I get anything. Good, if not, then I'll try another place. See, normally, I just cut across from where I was walking. If you see over there, that was to the left I just came down that way and I'm going back up again but they put a new fence there that blocked off so you kind of have to go all the way around rather than cutting across so this is it here lots of restaurants lots of stores and when we go into that building across the way there there are more shops and stores on the inside. Well, I just came out of there, got what I wanted, so now I'm going across to here, and across the street. I got the mouse that I wanted, so that's cool. Nice little shops in there. 
cool little place. And the mouse wasn't that expensive, so happy, happy. I just got done shopping, so uh, now I'm heading home. Ended up getting more than I expected to get, but uh, that's okay. So, next when we see each other, it's gonna be at the usual place at my desk. All right, it's eight, it's 20 hours and 17 minutes into the day of June 14th, 2012. I just got back from food shopping. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, 20 hours and 17 minutes is 8.17 p.m. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, I just got back from food shopping, unpacked, tried the new mouse on the uh, system. Perfect. So now uh, the electronic system is uh, that's next to me is going to be uh, uh, do the final configuration for today, and then it joins the network. Yay! <laughs> so anyways, uh, I'm going to finish up here and uh, check back with you in a couple of hours. Uh, it's 1.50 in the morning, and it's 1.50, it's 150, yeah, one four, one fifty in the morning, a.m. Or one hour, in 50 minutes into the day of June 17th, 2012. So, not a, not, 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 not too bad. No, June 15th. That's right, June 15th. Not uh, June seventeenth. Oh, it's misreading things and uh, got it wrong. Uh, I got a new uh, uh, member to the network now. The electronics uh, system, uh, the electronic system is up and working. So uh, there is now uh, right next to me. Uh, there is a system for the electronics bench that will handle elect uh, electronics, electrical engineering, and uh, application development so yay it's working the uh, uh, $14 mouse work <laughs> worked much better than the uh, than the uh, wireless so uh, I guess onward and upward eh? yeah uh, so that's about it for now I gotta, I gotta do some more uh, rearrangement on the network and pulling things together more, so that's what I'm going to be doing now, uh, as soon as I have something to drink, and do a couple of uh, comments, uh, went through YouTube, and uh, a couple questions were asked in terms of uh, replying back to them as video response, so that's what I'm going to do next. Two video responses, oh, excuse me. Anyways, we'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, it's just about 6 o'clock in the morning of uh, June 15th, to, to, uh, 20, 2012. Just finishing up the day. Uh, I've got another hour left before I get everything cleaned up and finished up for uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow should be an interesting day to see how I... Uh, move into the weekend and what cleaning work I can get done over the weekend so anyways uh, this should be in the editing bay as of tomorrow uh, as, as of uh, as of noon it should go to the editing bay around noon and we'll see if I can get it up by the evening all right take it easy free speech rules here at democratic earth